Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the process how I converted my three kids' room from looking like this into this beautiful room right here. On the second floor, there's three beds for all three kids, while at the bottom, they still have all of their play area. And the kids now can either walk down the stairs or simply use the slide to the right and slide down. I've watched and seen many other videos from other YouTubers creating bunk beds for their kids but for me having three kids and trying to fit them in the same room I want the room to be practical and of course keeping everything that they had originally so I had to fit all three beds in one room at the same time having another room at the bottom to keep all of their toys and everything so I wanted to create the second floor like this that way they have pretty much a second room in the same room that it was originally. First thing I did was pick up all the woods from Home Depot. I will have all the product lists in the description box down below. This entire project only cost me 600 bucks. I started by building the main frame of the second floor. I used the entire length of the 8 foot 2x4. For this part, I used a stud finder to locate where my studs are found. It was every 16 inches, but use a stud finder to find exactly where yours are located. So I have them 5 foot up, so the second floor starts at 5 foot. As you can see here, I used the entire length of the 8 foot 2x4 to screw in the stud of my house for the first two. Now to the third piece of the mainframe, I had to hold it in place temporarily using a 5 foot 2x4. I did this by simply screwing two screws into the end as you can see there. Now I can actually have hands to put in the actual 5 foot 2x4 at the corner to hold the entire frame together. Once I had the corner support in place, I went ahead and put up the fourth and last piece of the frame using a 8 foot 2x4 up. As you can see, I ended up using two 5 foot 2x4 as the corner support because I want it to be super, super strong and super safe. Next, I put up five more 8 foot 2x4 pieces as the main support for the second floor. For this port, I used two different products. The first product is the 2x4 choice hanger as you can see right here. It is not the best looking. That is why I decided to use this second product. This is actually a 2x4 fence support bracket. Now I use this for only one of the 8 foot 2x4 just to see how it will look and it actually looks very clean and nice compared to the choice hanger. As you can see over here, it looks very very clean. But then ultimately I did not think I needed the choice hanger or the fence bracket so I just went ahead and used the 5 inch screw and screw it directly to each other as you can see right here and they were super super strong and super safe as well. Once completed I went ahead and put it to the test. Now I forgot to mention I put these 19.2 inches apart from each other to keep them evenly distributed. And as you can see it guys, I weigh over 162 pounds. It doesn't budge at all. So I believe we are good to move on to the next step. And the floor is up and done guys. This part was super, super easy because I used the entire length of the eight foot two by four. So all I had to do was use two of the four by eight foot plywood and slap it up here and it is done. The thickness of the plywood I use here is only 0.34 inches thick and it is more than good enough since I have plenty of 2x4 8 foot studs at the bottom to support it. To secure both plywood in place, I simply use my nail gun to nail breaded nails from the plywood into the stud at the bottom and that was easy because all you had to do was measure every 19.2 inches support or kind of eyeball it from the bottom and up. Next, I went on to cutting out all the pieces to build the staircase. Now for the staircase idea, I got the idea from another YouTuber and I will share that video link in the description box down below so you can watch it there on how to build this staircase. As far as this goes, I want it to look really nice and I'm gonna leave it as plain wood. So I picked out a very good looking plywood. This is a half an inch plywood, which has a very smooth finish already. That way I'll save some time sending it down. I still have to send it down, but it will be much faster. As you can see, all I really have is a handsaw and a hand sander and it gets the job done. After all the pieces are measured, cut and sent it down, I brought it into the room and this is where I will be assembling it. And here is what it looks like after finish. I had a little change in planning. Initially the stairs were supposed to go all the way towards the window once it reached the top, but I decided to create a little 
square space on top that way they have room to walk up to before they enter their beds and i decided to make a slide at the last minute the slide was not part of the plan but as you can see here i made the little square and then i connected the stair onto the two by four and it holds in place very very strong and very firmly and as you can see i extended this little square over here which was not part of the original plan now another part is at the bottom of the staircase i use another small piece of two by four and screw it in using deck screw right here to the main corner support of the main frame and this hold it in place very very strong so let's go ahead and give it a test. I'm going to be the first one to walk up these beautiful stairs. Safe and sound. And once everything is in place, it will be even safer. And I have got to admit guys, at this point of the project, I'm actually very proud of myself. Next, I had to cut out a little square piece of plywood to fill up this little square and held it together using breaded nails. Now to creating and building our slide. So because the slide was a last update and change, I really have no exact idea how it was going to be placed in here. So I'm just using eight foot long two by four studs here to put it in place to see how it is going to work out. After many attempts, I had no idea how it is going to be put in place. So I decided to skip the slide and I will come back to it at a later time. For the finish of the flooring of the second floor, initially I was going to put down vinyl, but I found this very good looking floor material at Home Depot and it is pretty much very thin pieces of 4 by 8 foot. All I had to bought was two pieces of this and filled up the majority of the room. Now all I have to do is pretty much hold it in place with breaded nails using my gun nailer. As for the side of the main frame where it meets the floor here, I do not like how it look at all. So what I'm going to do is buy another 1x6 piece which will cover the entire 2x4 and the flooring and I will cover it all the way around the main frame. And check out how nice it looks guys, just from one side. It is just beautiful. Now the extra almost 2 inch that is raised up will also give me room to put in my siding later as well. So this is a 2 bird with 1 stone shot. To cover this entire side, all I had to buy was one piece of 12 foot 1x6, the most affordable kind and paint it white, which looks beautifully in my opinion. Now the next thing I'm going to build is the siding for this entire second floor. As you can see, that 1x6 gave me more space to put in the siding just like this. And here it is guys, so this was my original plan, just using 1x3 8 foot long and 3 pieces just like this. It looks beautiful and it looks super nice in my opinion, but when touching it, it is not strong at all. So this is what we are going to go with. I put up a whole bunch of vertical 1x3 at every 7 inches apart, that way it is super strong and the kids can never ever fall out at all, not even the head. All they can do is put their arm through there and that is it. And ultimately, good thing is, it still looks very nice, guys. One thing I must mention here is every single part that your kids touch or my kids touch, I sand it down very thoroughly, especially these 1x3. I sand every single part of it down, making sure they will never get hurt when they are holding it. And then, guess what, guys? I finally figured out how to do the slide. The kids are having a blast. I'm super excited and proud of myself for figuring out how I put this together. So for this, I've used a combination of dry erase board, cabinet board, and three pieces of two by four. So let me go ahead and walk into the back here and show you how I put this together. Now I love the way how the stair came out. So back here, as you can see, these are the three pieces of two by four. I pretty much connected it together with the square piece that I added on earlier. For the side to cover all the corner of the stairs, I use a nine foot long piece of cabinet wood. It is 0.75 thick and 12 inches wide. As for the main part of the slide, this is actually a dry erase board. I just pretty much cut it out to fit. And again, kids are absolutely loving it. Now to make sure they don't fall down while walking up or down, I added the handrails and I just loved how it turned out. And I also caulked all the little pieces as you can see right here to give it a finished touch. 
At this point of the project, I'm pretty much done, but then I noticed there's no light at the bottom part of the room at all. So I went ahead and added in four 12 inch flush LED light to bright up the entire bottom portion of the room that can independently be controlled using the smartphone or the switch in the room independently from the top light as well, which I love how it turns out because the kids sometimes would forget to turn the light off so I can now actually control their lighting from my smartphone anywhere in the world as long as I am connected to Wi-Fi. And here is the finished second floor guys. I have three beds right here. I did not want to put in a king or a queen size bed that is too thick so I decided to go for three very thin memory foam which is also very comfortable and as you can see it, it turns out beautifully in my opinion. Everybody loved their room and beds. Overall, this was a super fun and fairly easy project to do. I love how everything turned out. The room is super, super practical. They pretty much have two rooms in one. And I forgot to mention, this room is originally 11 by 12. Now they have a room on top 8 by 8, which is very, very fun for them. And guys, if you have any questions at all, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. This was my first attempt at doing any type of carpentry project at all. So if I can do it, I believe you can as well. And this is what the kids call their secret library room. They sit in there to read all their favorite books. And here's one last look from the inside out, guys. With that being said, thanks everybody for watching and I will see you all in the next video, guys.